I am developing a new product and it's called edible pesticides. So the question is, if a farmer growing the food you're going to buy at the store is going to spray something to take care of aphids or other insects, mm -hmm. would you rather have them use a poison pesticide or a pesticide made with edible food products? A pesticide made with edible food products, absolutely. If a farmer growing food that you're going to buy and eat needs to take care of some aphids or insects and he's going to spray something, would you prefer that he spray an edible pesticide or a poison pesticide? I would prefer an edible pesticide. Pesticide. <laughs> That's, is this a trick question? No. I would certainly prefer an edible pesticide. Edible, of course. Edible one? No pesticides. What if the pesticide is food? In other words, yeah. olive oil. Oh, olive oil, okay. See, yeah. that's what I mean by edible pesticides. Yeah. So, oh, okay. so food would be olive great. oil. Okay, so would you prefer that they use a poison pesticide or an edible pesticide? Edible. Edible. Probably an edible pesticide. Hi there, my name is Ross Sassine and this is my Kickstarter project, Edible Pesticides. Those two words are an oxymoron of sorts today, and yet, think about it. Shouldn't that always be the case? If a farmer is going to spray something on plants to take care of an insect problem, shouldn't whatever they spray be edible? If you, in your garden, or your friend, or your family member in their garden, are going to spray something to take care of insects, shouldn't whatever they spray be edible, made from ingredients that are themselves all edible, like olive oil, or sunflower oil, or coconut oil, or herbs and spices like spearmint, peppermint, wintergreen, turmeric, things that we eat as foods that prepared properly are toxic to insects and or repel insects from coming into the garden. That's what edible pesticides is all about. Hopefully making a change backward from this system of conventional growing where tons and tons of poisons are sprayed, the aquifer water tables are polluted with herbicide and pesticide sprays, 94% of Americans test positive for pesticide residues, and that includes those of us who are eating primarily or solely organic food. So if you think you haven't been exposed to pesticides, think again. This is one way that you can take some action, even if it's just purchasing the $1 reward item, and that'll add one more person who said, I want pesticides that are safe, edible, non-toxic, not poisons. So whether you contribute via one dollar or buy a sample for your favorite farm at your local farmers market or for yourself or a friend or neighbor or family member for a Christmas present, please help out so that I can get the equipment to start manufacturing and providing these wonderful new sprays that can be used safely anywhere, anytime. Thank you very much for your support.